the new movie. <laughs> when you are ready. I'd like to take this time to thank the jury for participating in today's case, as our team realizes that the great sacrifice you have made to be here, and acknowledge that you are as integral part of the trial yes. as any of us lawyers. That being said, you have now heard both sides of the story, one of tragic death and vicious lies. And now, we as a plaintiff ask you to separate the facts from the fiction. First off, there is a clear motive for T. Berry to murder Therese Jameson. Getting fired because of her knowledge of the horse meat, and then attempting to blackmail T. Berry with the same information to get her job back, Therese Jameson had clearly stumbled upon a secret that should have never gotten out if T. Berry had her way. As shown by Exhibit 5, or the seat from the Crime Cuts Meat, Fact, Meat Company, there is a drastic decline in the amount of ground beef bought, dropping from 1,600 pounds to 900 pounds in a matter of six months, saving upwards of $1,000, based on the price of horse meat that Mr. Wilbur has given us. Realizing this, T. Berry acted quickly and efficiently. He claims to have kept track of what time Therese Jameson has shown up for work, marking the times down on the faulty calendar she has submitted to, or Exhibit 4. As Danny had already said, Therese had only gone to work late on Saturdays, which had already garnered T. Berry's approval, and as you, the jury, have seen, there is clearly something wrong with the calendar. Every single one of the days she was late, save for October 16, 2004, a Saturday, has an eight crossed out, edited, or written over. Not only this, but there is also a time written on Saturday, October 30, 2004, one day after Therese Jameson was fired. Sandy Wilbur might have testified that he doesn't know anything about horse meat or the murder, but keep in mind that this is the same guy who has been good friends with T. Berry for over 10 years, and the same guy who T. Berry had done a great service for, helping him keep his driver, job as a driver and keeping him out of jail for DUI. You could say Mr. Wilbur owes T. Berry a favor to, or two, or as he said, he lied to the authorities for him. As for T. Berry, the story she has been giving still continues to show holes in reasoning. Receiving a nomination for the Community Hero Award, this hero helps the needy, such as Mrs. Jean Wade, and claims to believe in second chances, yet after one or two supposed latenesses by Therese Jameson, she promptly fires her, and never welcomes her back to the Terrible, ca ter terrible Towel Cafe ever again. Are these probable actions of the understanding and generous community hero, especially since she didn't know that Therese was actually homeless? The sad, tragic death of Therese Jameson, the late mother of a now homeless orphan, Danny, J Danny Jameson, has been murdered and killed by that same hero. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, allow me to complete the picture for you. After Therese had found out about the terrible towel cafes used for horse meat and their famous 100% beef burgers, T. Berry realized that her company's reputation was at stake and promptly fired Therese, stating tardiness as the sole reason. Upon realization of the mistreatment she suffered, Therese went back to demand her job a month later by threatening T. Berry with this knowledge. Fearful for her restaurant and fearful for her reputation, T. Berry unfortunately had no choice to eliminate the one source that would ruin it all, Mrs. Jameson. On the fateful day of November 20th, 2004, the only incriminating loose end of T. Barry Wilson's horse meat sandal was tied up, for Therese Jameson had been murdered. I now urge you, I now urge the jury to recognize the crime and great injustice that has been presented to you. I urge you to recognize the state of distress and sadness that has been placed upon young Danny Jameson, and I urge you to place justice where justice is due, because we have proven to you that it is beyond a reasonable doubt that T. Barry Olson is guilty of this murder. I thank you for your time.